Just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. Hey everyone, Miles Sales Power here. Today I review a classic from the PlayStation 1 era. Can Andrew survive the deathmatch or is he going to become cannon fodder? Without further ado, let's find out. Big shout out to Arcade Glasgow for so suggesting Twisted Metal in the first place. They are located on Saltmarker Street, Glasgow. They offer a variety of retro consoles available to play with a massive library of retro games. With hour long access to the entire arcade for as little as £9, it is outstanding value for money. Links to Arcade's website and Facebook page are listed right over here and in the video's description. Anyway, back to Twisted Metal. The game is set in the streets of Los Angeles on Christmas Eve 2005. The legendary Calypso is hosting the 10th annual Twisted Metal competition. A gladiatorial fight to the death with only a handful of drivers selected by Calypso himself competing. The prize? One wish, regardless of size, price and reality. You pick a driver with their own unique vehicle and weapons and then take to the battlefield to be the last vehicle standing. The accessibility scores are as follows. To kick things off visibility given 10 during a match, everyone but you are an enemy. There are no color coded elements that can cause issues for a colorblind player. Next up, on ability I give it 9. Due to the age of the game and the restriction of a typical PlayStation 1 disc, there are no spoken dialogue in this game, so a player with a hearing impairment should be able to play this game with no issues. Next up, mobility I also give it 9. As part of the course for an early PlayStation 1 game, the controls are very clunky. However, there are numerous button layouts that can be changed via the game's options menu. Also, due to the size of the classic PlayStation 1 controller, it feels very uncomfortable to play. To make matters worse, due to the game's age, there are no analog stick support. So, but to be fair, this is a game from 1995 we're talking about here. So, despite the shortfalls due to the game's age, this game was somewhat easily playable for a player with mobility impairments. And last but certainly by no means least, gameplay I gave it 8. For its age, this game is pretty good. Twisted Metal has a unique blend of arena shooter and driving games. The game is pretty fun to play as each character has its own unique weapon. For example, the infamous Sweet Tooth has a homing missile as a unique weapon. On average, the game's main story can be beat within 5 hours, which holds on pretty well when compared to more modern games, for example, Halo 3 ODST. By the way, this is sourced from HowLongToBeat.com. In summary, Twisted Metal is an excellent game which feels similar to Unreal Tournament. But don't worry guys, Tales means that in a good way though. Its own unique blend of driving, manic combat as every combatant in the level goes for one another from the word go, is exactly what, how a classic shooter from the era of releases it should be. So if you're a retro game enthusiast and is looking for a classic shooter game to play on your PlayStation 1, this game could be an excellent choice. And the overall score is a highly respectable 90%. And that is my last review for now as I take a four week long break due to the anniversary of my fall in 2004. During this time I will be focusing on the let's play side of the channel to keep the stress and strain of my brain as minimal as possible during this highly emotional time of year. This is my own self pro reading on the behalf of James over and out. Alright so I'll see you guys on the 10th of August.